Hi, here we are at Simti. I am with um, Thomas Edwards from Fox. He is VP of Engineering and Development. And I'm going to ask you in a second exactly what that means because nobody's title completely describes what they do. Right. But um, also, you are a co-chair of the 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 program pro committee. Yes. Program for the committee Simti, for the Simti conference this year. Okay, great. So why don't we jump into that first? How? What's your process? How do you go about choosing what would be um, good programming for a show like this and this year specifically? Well, the first job of the program chairs, which is myself and Sarah Cutterly, who's from Imagine Communications, is to find good session chairs to come in and make sure that they can run the individual sessions. Uh, they are actually the people who go through the abstracts which are submitted and they try to figure out which ones are the best. They vote on all of them and we take basically the folks with the best scores and those are the papers uh, which we break into the different sessions for the conference. Okay, and this year what are some of the highlights? Well, there's a lot of excitement about IP. It's something that I've been very involved in recently. A lot of excitement about cloud. Uh, definitely some interest in blockchain yes. as well as security. Uh, so, uh, and good old fashioned high dynamic range and digital cinema. That's still, uh, still excellent topics for the Simpty Conference. Now you mentioned IP, can you talk a little bit more about that and how that might, um, your, your regular day role, how does that involve IP as well? Right, so my role within Fox, uh, I'm within Networks Engineering and Operations, which is the distribution arm for the broadcast network and the cable networks in the United States. I'm in a research and development role, so I actually have a lab out here in Los Angeles in the Fox movie lot uh, where we test out new types of television technology. Uh, we've been active in high dynamic range and high frame rates. Uh, we've been active uh, in a bunch of different areas, but all, especially IP is something mm -hmm. that we've really been concentrating on. You know, I've seen the potential of IP to provide incredible enhancements in the density and efficiency of routing broadcast video signals. Uh, and you know, with, with, uh, through Fox Sports, we've actually been doing this now for a couple of years in their outside broadcast trucks, and more recently within our broadcast plant using IP routing capabilities uh, in order to uh, increase the density and efficiency uh, when you have a whole bunch of different HD video signals running through a single cable. Obviously that makes your cabling effort a lot easier. Sure. Uh, it allows us to have denser uh, routing switches than we ever could have had with SDI. So as we get up to the 2000 by 2000 or 3000 by 3000 HD signals that we need for a major network center like at Fox Networks Engineering Operations, we need, we need that density. There also are some significant efficiencies that we believe we can get as we begin to move some of our video processing from hardware models to software models, uh, from kind of this bespoke uh, chunk of iron to virtual machines that yeah. we can spin up and spin down at a moment's notice. And of course, there's no, it, there's no BNC connector on a virtual machine, right? Yes. So IP is the way we have to go in order to achieve that. That's right. So um, getting back to the Simpty Conference for a second, what do you personally find most exciting about the programming here? Well, I find the IP most exciting. You I do. have to yeah, admit, okay. <laughs> it's it's a thing with me. Um, yeah, I, I'm also, uh, besides being program chair, I'm also a session chair of a couple of IP sessions, which I'm splitting with uh, Hans Hoffman from the European Broadcasting Union, who's chairing some of the other IP sessions. We've had so many IP papers this year that we've got four different uh, sessions of three papers each. Uh, we're very happy that we've had so many excellent submissions from the industry as everybody's grappling with uh, you know, what are these standards, what do they mean, and when people begin to actually implement them and put them into practice, they're learning a lot of little gotchas, uh, which I think is very important for informing the rest of the industry and the SIMTI community about you know, how to practically make these implementations work. That makes sense. Thomas, thank you for stopping by. I know you have a lot to do here at the show. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Randy.